Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ivy. I am a now new grad from an accelerated nursing program up in the Northeast. And on this channel, I like to share all things that have to do with nursing school, aesthetics and skincare, and just my daily life. So as you guys can tell from the title of the video, today I'm going to be sharing how I passed the NCLEX in 75 questions on my very first try. Now this is going to be a 2022 edition and the reason why I'm stating that specifically is because if you are watching this after March of 2023, I believe, then this will no longer help you because the NCLEX will be changing. I know a bunch of my classmates who are still studying and have yet to take the NCLEX. I know a bunch of people who are graduating now in the summer or will be graduating at the end of the year in the fall so for those of you who will be completing your programs by the end of 2022 then this video should be able to help you but just a disclaimer if you are watching this in 2023 then chances are that this video won't really help you just because the end class will be changing okay so i have my notes here i'm probably gonna be looking down a lot because i took a lot of notes because i didn't want to forget anything i want to start off by listing out all of the things like all of the resources that i used when i was studying for the nclex i'm going to divide this into two separate parts the first part is going to be the things that i use that helped me do practice questions and then the second part is going to be the things that i use that helps me review material for the first part i'm going to start off talking about UWorld and Archer. These are probably one of the top two um, programs out there that most people are familiar with, particularly UWorld. I feel like UWorld has gained a lot of popularity in recent years and for good reason because I think that it helps me a lot when it came to studying for the NCLEX. So one of the things that I really liked about UWorld was the fact that the question bank is very extensive and also the rationales for UWorld were by far the best ones that I saw. Their rationales were very detailed and sometimes they even provided like links to videos or audio clips that helped you really retain the material even further. Like they were very, very detailed with their rationales, which I really appreciated because the more I saw this material, like the more I was able to really ingrain it in my head and like really retain the material. So that was very, very helpful. I think I mentioned this in my previous video, but UWorld gives you different options of the packages that you can purchase. And I decided to go with the package that has the two assessments. And I really like this because what I did was that I did a bunch of questions and then I did their first assessment about, I wanna say two to three weeks before the day of my NCLEX. And then I took the second assessment the week of my NCLEX. And on my first assessment, I got high chance of passing. And then on my second assessment, I got very high chance of passing. It was very reassuring, but I still, of course, was paranoid. I was just so scared because I had read online stories of people doing really well in the assessments, but, but then failing the NCLEX itself. So I was still a little nervous. I have to say that the rationales and doing all those questions truly, truly helped me. Actually, let me check how many questions. I did not get to finish the entire question bank. I was trying to, like I was really trying to get through it, but I, I didn't get to. <laughs> so, okay, so there's a total of 2,184 questions. I did 1,263. So there was 921 questions that went unused. They also give you the option of going back to doing the questions that you got incorrect, or you can also go back to questions that you marked so when you're doing each question, there's like a little flag at the top and you can like mark it. So it saves that question in a folder. And then later on, when you're answering questions, you can actually make the program ask you those questions that you had marked. Like if it's something that you really want to review. So I did that with a lot of the pharmacology questions because farm is what was kicking my butt when it came to these practice questions. Like especially the select about apply. It was quite tough at first but let me just say that the more questions you do the better you'll get at it i think uworld says on their website that if you get like a 56 percent consistently that's that's actually like the equivalent of like a passing rate of 92 percent on the NCLEX. so basically you're probably going to be seeing grades of like 50s and 60s and in your in your <laughs> in my mind that was like terrible but in new world standards that's actually really really good so don't worry at first in the beginning you're probably going to do 
really bad like I, I remember when I first started I think I was getting like high 30s low 40s or something like that which is insane <laughs> but later on I started getting like 60s and 70s you should see like an upwards trend in those like percentages don't get too hung up on them the, the main point of you world is to read the rationales even if you get the questions right and you know, take your time really retaining the info because at the end of the day, you just need to familiarize yourself with the style of questions and the material. You need to know the material in order to be able to answer the questions. So overall with you world, I highly, highly, highly recommend you get it, especially if you want to review material. I think their question bank and their um, rationales were the best, to be honest, and definitely try to get their assessments because it personally helps me a lot. Moving on. Now I'm going to be talking about Archer. When I was doing my research, I came across a lot of posts of people stating that even though UWorld helped them in terms of reviewing material, they felt like the NCLEX questions were more similar to Archer's questions. And I found that interesting. I did my research, I went on the Archer website and they actually advertise themselves that way. Uh, if you go on their website, you'll see that they say that their questions are vague just like how it is in the NCLEX. I feel like UWorld sometimes it in the questions themselves, they gave too much information and you could, you could kind of figure out the answers just from the extra info that they give you. Whereas Archer, the questions are a little bit more vague and it's one of those things where it's like, you either know it or you don't kind of thing. Personally, I feel like Archer's assessments and their CAT exams were really, really good. Their question banks, I noticed that a lot of the questions had grammar mistakes. Their rationales, I, I personally didn't like them. I feel like they didn't explain things. Like for example, with UWorld, they would tell you exactly why the correct answer is correct. And then under each incorrect multiple choice, they would tell you why specifically, specifically why each question was incorrect. Whereas Archer, for all of the incorrect question, uh, answers, it would just basically say like, this is not the correct answer. <laughs> like it wasn't helpful at all. <laughs> at the end of the day, it's still more question banks, it's still more practice, and you get to see like the different types of material that you should be reviewing. But if I had to compare the two, like UWorld and Archer, I have to say that Archer's CAT exam is actually very, very good. This is something that UWorld does not have. And what the CAT exam is, I think it stands for Computer Adaptive Test. And it basically is reflective of the NCLEX where depending on how you answer each question, the next question will change and it'll either get easier or it'll get harder. So you really get a good feel of what the NCLEX will be like when you take it based on this exam because it's very, it mimics the NCLEX essentially. Also, in case you guys didn't know this, but the NCLEX isn't like any other exam where you know you get like a set amount of questions and a set amount of time. The way the NCLEX works is that you can pass or fail the NCLEX anywhere between 75 questions to 145 questions. And the exam is adaptive in the sense that depending on how you answer each question, if you're getting those questions right, then the following question will start to become harder. Whereas if you're getting the questions wrong, then the following questions become easier. But the thing is that in order to pass the exam, you have to try and get more hard questions correct. If you're getting too many easy ones correct, you actually might not pass. It's very tricky, like you actually want to try and get the hard questions correct. And at one point I lost count of how many selective letter apply questions I got and they were really, really hard. I was so stressed out. When I saw the screen shut down at 75 questions, I was like, oh my gosh, like, what was that? <laughs> you know, like, I don't know, like a, a, a part of me felt like it wasn't too bad but another part of me was like I don't know another part of me was just like overthinking it you know but at the end of the day I just want to say go with your gut instinct do not change the answer just click it and move on because once you start overthinking things and you start changing answers that's when you're gonna go wrong another thing that I really 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 liked about Archer is that they also have a package that comes with like uh, review videos so they have like this intensive like 20 hour review um, it's like two videos, 10 hours each, and they each go into every single concept and like classes that you covered in nursing school. So it was basically like a huge review of everything that we learned, and that's how I started to study. I actually started with Archer first. I did, actually no, that's a lie. My school actually did a three-day NCLEX review, and they gave us this book. 
to go along with it. Personally, I, I didn't look at this after we did that three-day review. I didn't really find it helpful. So anyways, we did start with this, a three-day review, but I feel like on the third day, she was running out of time, so she kind of just like sped through some of the materials. So it didn't really feel like a review. It felt more like she was reading off of the PowerPoint slides. So what I did is that after that three-day session, I took a, a week off. For myself to just relax after the program like you know we just finished nursing school you're exhausted <laughs> like you're burnt out you just want to relax for a little bit so just take a week off and then after that week i took the archer video reviews that really helps me because not only do they go over everything in the videos they also have handouts that you can download and like take notes while you're like going along with the video and it was actually very very helpful like i feel like that really kind of like prepared me to really hone in on my weak areas like areas that i had forgotten about that i felt like i needed to review and i took a lot of notes and i looked at my notes every single day that was the first thing i did i watched these videos i took notes and i reviewed these notes every single day then after i did the archer video reviews i started doing the U world question banks i did a bunch of those and then I did the UWorld first assessment, did more questions, did a Archer assessment, did more questions. <laughs> then I did the CAT exam on Archer and it shut down on me at 75 questions. It was basically telling me like you have a very high chance of passing. Then a few days before my NCLEX, that's when I took the second assessment on UWorld and it said I had a very high chance of passing. And then on the day of the exam, I passed at 75 questions. So I think the assessments are actually pretty accurate you just have to go into the exam and answer these questions the same way you answer them when you're doing U world or archer the way the exam looks actually looks just like U world that kind of actually helped me with my nerves because i just felt like i was taking another U world assessment essentially not gonna lie when i first sat down i had to take some deep breaths because my heart was pounding like i could literally hear it in my ears pounding because the room was so quiet like i think they put you like in a soundproof room and i actually requested like the um the earbuds so that i can block out anybody who was typing or making noises so i could literally hear my heartbeat <laughs> from how quiet it was in my ears like it was crazy but anyways i took a few breaths and i started to you know relax and like really focus and i was able to answer the questions calmly and yeah so at the end of the day the only programs i used to review questions was uworld and archer again they're two different programs they, they offer two different things if i had to choose between the two i would personally say to stick with uworld however if i had the time and the resources then i would say for uworld get the package that has the two assessments and then for Archer, I don't know what their packages look like. I forgot what they look like. But if they offer the CAT exam and the assessments, I would say go for those. I wouldn't necessarily go with the question bank just because their rationales weren't as good as you world's. But I do think that the assessments and the CAT exam was pretty, pretty good. Especially the CAT exam because that one really gives you an idea of like how adaptive um the real exam is gonna be like it really mimics it really well okay so now we're gonna move right along into the things that i use to review material of course you world was kind of like reviewing material based on the rationales but this is like the materials that i used on the days when i didn't do any questions at all i just strictly studied because i felt like i kept getting these types of questions wrong over and over and over again so i needed to really review that specific material i used Simple Nursing, NCLEX High Yield, Mark Clemic, and then I also used Nurse Stephanie's bundle and the Complete Nursing School bundle. I know it sounds like a lot, but I used these materials strictly for studying. I didn't use them as a way to, you know, like figure out how to answer NCLEX questions or anything like that. It was strictly to review material that I kept getting wrong. It was it was pretty helpful using these resources because a lot of times they would help with like they would share memory tricks and those memory tricks were super 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 helpful at times out of all of the resources that i just mentioned i have to say that simple nursing on youtube really helped me a lot when it came to reviewing material especially when it came to like the pharmacology um videos those helped me tremendously seriously like if you guys are having trouble with you know specific concepts or pharmacology like in my case 
I would highly recommend Simple Nursing on YouTube. Nurse Mike, you are the best. If you ever watch this by any chance, I want to say thank you because your videos are so helpful and so informative. I hope I can meet you one day so I can shake your hand and say thank you personally. <laughs> oh, someone else I also forgot to mention was registerednursern.com. Everybody knows homegirl is so helpful. She helped me throughout nursing school. I mentioned her in my previous videos and I did watch some of her videos for the NCLEX, but I feel like her questions go very, very in depth. Like I just wanted to review like the overall like general information. I didn't want to go so into super detail like that. So I feel like that is why Simple Nursing was so helpful because it just got straight to the point. It gave you exam like practice questions, examples, and so many memory tricks. Like it was just super helpful. When it comes to the NCLEX and when it comes to reviewing material, I would highly recommend Simple Nursing on YouTube. Go check it out. NCLEX High Yield, Dr. Hoodboy. That's actually his name, <laughs> which I thought was really funny. This is actually a really good review for like if you are driving or if you're doing errands or if you're cleaning around the house and you just want to have something playing in the background this is what i would play i would play his podcast and it did a great job in just reviewing basic material to be honest i didn't use nclix high yield as much just because i would always just go to simple nursing to be honest but if you're constantly on the go and you're running around everywhere and you're driving a lot but you still want to review then this is really really good to Play in the background all right mark Klimek. so i feel like i i'm going to be one of the few people that feels like mark Klimek actually didn't help me very much first of all the videos are a little outdated for example he still used brand names in the videos whereas now like we only use the generic um names of medications also um he would say things like for, for selective that apply he would say that the answer could never be all of them but now the answer could either be just one answer or it could be all of them so that's also changed it is a little outdated there were a few like memory tricks that he did mention that i did like and that did you know help me remember material but overall i would say if you have the extra time then yes you know watch his videos because they they are pretty helpful but just be mindful of any brand names that he mentions you're gonna have to google what the generic name for it is because you have to actually know the generic name for the for the medications and just be mindful of like all of the outdated information in the videos i actually think that all of his videos on youtube were taken down i heard so i'm not sure if you could even still find these videos anymore but if you can um, I would recommend the prioritization and delegation video. That one was actually pretty helpful. Okay, and finally, I'm going to share the complete nursing school bundle brought to you by Nurse in the Making. It looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see it. It basically has so much, it's like so much information on everything that we have to learn, like med surge, pediatrics, OB, farm psych like everything it's all listed here and it was super super helpful like if i was ever like tired of watching videos or i just wanted to do like a quick you know search i would look up her notes just because sometimes like her memory tricks were really good i keep mentioning memory tricks and it's because there's just so much information that we have to remember for the exam that any memory trick that could help me remember all this material i would just absorb it like it truly really helped me a lot so I would kind of like grab little memory tricks from like all these different resources to help me remember all of the concepts and all of like the tricky questions and stuff. The other review was the Nursing School Complete Bundle by RN Explained Inc. It looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see it. This one though, I actually really, really, really liked. Her notes are handwritten so at least on my ipad i can't like control f like i can't search things i would have actually have to scroll to find stuff but i actually used her notes the most i actually ended up like printing out some of the pages from her notes and like taping it on the wall <laughs> in front of my desk just so that i could see this stuff every single day and like really like drill it in my brain i really 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 like really recommend her notes as well so yeah it's called the nursing school complete undle by rn explained inc some of the things that i did also like i mentioned earlier i did print out some stuff and i taped it in front of my desk just so i can look at it every single day i also did a bunch of 
flashcards. Like when I say a bunch, I mean like a bunch. I have more somewhere in my drawer, but I did a lot, especially for like um, farm. Like farm, farm. I swear, like it was hard to get through farm because first of all, it's just dry material. It's hard to like, you know, group things together. I really feel like farm is just repetition. So I just had to keep doing those questions and I had to keep like going over my flashcards. Simple nursing really helped with farm. I'm telling you guys, like, no, I'm not sponsored. No, I'm not paid. I just really love that YouTube video. Like I really, 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 really highly recommend simple nursing. Go watch it. I actually really wish that I had known about um, this YouTube channel during nursing school because some of the stuff that I was reviewing while I was watching these videos, I remembered getting these questions wrong on nursing school exams. So I was like, man, if I had just known about this beforehand, like it would have helped so much. So if you're still going through the program, this will actually still be beneficial, beneficial for you. Like go watch his videos, watch all of the concepts and then watch. I guarantee you it's gonna help you so much. Something that a lot of my friends and a lot of people in general just asked me was, did you try the Pearson View trick? And yes, I did. I did try it. And yes, it was true for me. They say that when it comes to the Pearson View, you have to um, try it at least two hours after you take the exam or after you get an email from them saying like, you have recently taken the NCLEX. If you have any more questions, then blah, 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 blah. Like when, once you get that email, then you can try the trick. And the trick is that you go into Pearson View you log in and then you go as if you're registering for a new NCLEX and when you get to the payment page you're gonna put everything exactly the same what I changed was the security code that's what I changed so I did my credit card number I did the correct expiration date I just changed the security code and then I got the good pop-up so the good pop-up is gonna say something along the lines of like you have recently registered for this exam so you can't re-register or something like that and that's a good sign that typically means that you pass so after watching so many YouTube videos and going through all these forums and reading all this info I don't think I ever saw anybody say that they got the good pop-up and then fail the exam like if you get the good pop-up chances are you passed however if you get the bad pop-up which is that it lets you re-register or it says like your information is incorrect to call your credit card company or something like that that means that chances are you probably failed however there have been a few people that have said that they got the bad pop-up and they actually passed so if you get the good pop-up chances are you passed i don't i never saw anybody say that they failed it but if you get the bad pop-up then it could be that you failed but it's not 100 percent there have been a few people who have said that they actually did Pass. So take it with a grain of salt though. I'm gonna actually share one of the memory tricks that has stuck with me. It's very simple. A lot of you guys probably already know it, but I'm still gonna share in case it helps somebody out there. <laughs> so one of the tricks that I learned was remembering the levels for lipids. So the way I remember it is that I first list out everything in alphabetical order. So first it'll be like total cholesterol, then triglycerides, then LDL, and then HDL. And then I go in increments of 50. So I do 50, 100, 150, 200. And that is it. You just have to remember that for HDL, which is the good cholesterol, you want to see more of that. And then everything else you want to see less than. So just remember that um, when you write out your numbers, the first top three, you want to see less than. And then the last one, which is the good cholesterol, the HDL, you want to see more of and that's it <laughs> i guess i'll share like how i remember my electrolytes as well potassium 3.5 to 5. the way i remember is that there's a lot of potassium in bananas and bananas usually come in a bunch of three to five so that's how i remember that sodium is 135 to 145 and the way i remember that is it's funny because somebody once said that is my like weight goal 135 to 145 and they said that part of the reason why they were having a hard time reaching that goal is because they love potato chips and salty stuff so i just think oh sodium 135 145 weight goal potato chips i don't know if it'll help you but it helped me <laughs> oh calcium calcium is a really good one so i remember calcium as call 911 so call is 
CAL, calcium, and then 911, calcium is always between 9 and 11. Chloride, the way I remember it is chloride reminds me of chlorine. And whenever I think of chlorine, I think of pools. The time of year when we go in the pool is whenever the temperature is anywhere between 95 to 105. Chloride is 95 to 105 give or take. <laughs> I do know a bunch of other ones like magnesium and stuff, but those ones, the way I remember them, they're actually a little bit inappropriate, so I don't want to share that on my channel. But if you Google things like electrolytes and like memory tricks or something along those lines, then I'm sure that a bunch of things will come up and then hopefully one of those things will help you. But hopefully my tricks help you as well. If you guys are interested in me doing like a memory trick series where I share like how I remember certain things and certain concepts, then let me know down below and then if enough people are interested, then maybe I'll make a video like that. Okay, I don't want this video to be too long because I actually have to get dressed and go to a friend's wedding. That's why I'm like a little bit dolled up with my makeup. <laughs> But um, yeah, I hope this video is helpful. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like this kind of video, then give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're always alerted whenever I upload a new video. All right, and that is it. Thank you so very much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoy these kind of videos. And don't forget to subscribe. And um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.